Hello and welcome back to Chicken Police Paint It Red. When we last left off, we finally got to the Tsar Club after <laughs> several videos. Let's talk to the bouncer here. Jeez, look at that guy. That's not a guy. That's a demon. Straight from the dog-eared pages of a cheap detective novel. <laughs> yeah, I bet his name's Bill. Nah, he's definitely a Bob. <laughs> Five bucks for Bill? Okay, I'm in. All right. Jeez, look, that's not a... Let's just... Let's... Okay. Jeez, oh. that's not a guy. No. Yeah. Well, I messed that one up. Let's say hi. Howdy, pal. Gentlemen. How can I help you on this wonderful, chilly night? Now we're expected in the VIP lounge. Nah, actually, we are. My apologies, but I don't remember ever seeing you gentlemen here before. May I ask? Now stop right there, big guy. I get it. Yeah, I know exactly how this works. So what do you have to do to get in? Nothing's easier, sir. Are you on the list? The list? Yeah, I'm, uh, uh... Oh, don't tell me you forgot. I'm afraid I did, Marty. Sorry, big guy, but I'm pretty sure we're not on the list tonight. Uh -oh. That's a shame. I'm really sorry, sirs. In that case, you can't come in. Yeah, right. Uh, thanks. My pleasure, gentlemen. Global Chronicle is the most read and highest quality newspaper in the city. It's so famous that it's also being read by on Clawville's borders, and not just in the colonies. This is the paper that first published an article about the two heroic roosters, aka the Chicken Police. Uh, the article is written by Timothy Saltwater, Seagull journalist, who has uh, since become somewhat of a legend himself. Hmm. Well, let's, um... Let's see if we can just talk to him again. one more thing. Uh, this list of yours. Uh, where should we sign up again? Yeah. I'm afraid if you don't know, it's not my place to tell you, sir. Uh, excuse me, what? Uh, the regulations, you know. Mm. You hear that, Sonny? I do, Marty. I do. I'm gonna lose my crest from this guy. Just wait. Just don't get too excited, Marty. Not tonight. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks, pal. Yes, gentlemen. Hey, big guy. Uh, what's your name again? Yeah. My name is Archibald, sir. Archibald Conway. Well, that's not a bob. Excuse me, monsieur. <laughs> Archib... What? No way. That's not even a real name. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry to disappoint you, sir, but uh, my name is Archibald Conway, without any doubt. Blackjack Conway to my friends. Uh, I don't think he's talking about the card game. Well, thanks, Blackjack. It was a pleasure. We'll be on our way now. Now, let's look him up. Archibald Blackjack Conway. Species, Ram. Avis Aries. Gender, male. Special feature. Big as a mountain. Talks like a poet. Smells like a barn. Boulder standing guard in front of the entrance is our club. He's probably reports straight to Ibn Wessler. Not to mention that he's exceptionally well educated and has an elaborate vocabulary. Yeah. Definitely from, uh, I think, uh, France. I'd imagine closer to the uh, Spanish mountains. Now yeah, we can just look at him Jeez, now. Jeez, look at that guy. That's not a guy. That. No. Ask about himself. Say, big guy, is this your job? To stand in front of the club and keep out decent fellows like us all night? Yeah. Not entirely, monsieur. My employer has many other kinds of jobs for me. He is quite creative in his field, I must say. Oh. Like? Like what? Exactly. <laughs> Sorry, monsieur. <laughs> I'm not, uh... Permitted to say anything more about the matter. Regulations, yeah, I know. Uh, this bullshit just gave me a headache. Mm -hmm. So sorry to hear that, sir. Mm. 
What can you tell me about the first lady of the place, big guy? Uh, you mean Miss Natasha Katsenko, sir? You're right on point, pal. Mm -hmm. Nothing you don't know already, sir. Just try me. Well, she owns the place. Yeah. And, uh, that's it? Well, that's, uh, <clears throat> unbelievable. <laughs> Pardon, monsieur, but I'm not permitted to say anything more. Oh, permitted. Well, I got this bad. Look, I really don't want any trouble, but... It is even more inconvenient for me, sir, but... This place doesn't like, uh, coppers. Forgive this line. I can't let just anybody in, and there are some I'm strictly forbidden to. Please, you have to understand. Mm -hmm. Listen here, you cow. Do you have any idea who we are? You ever read the papers? Of course I know who you are, sir. I read the news and more. And I must admit it's an honor to meet you in person, Mr. Santino Featherland and Mr. Marty Machikin. The Bell of the Pantheres is one of my favorite books. <laughs> oh my god, not the books again. <laughs> so it would be terribly inconvenient for me if I had to use force on you, gentlemen. What? what did you just say? Relax, Marty. This guy has chicks like you for breakfast. Uh, thanks for the information, pal. Uh, have a nice night. Thank you for understanding, gentlemen. And forgive me for my austere composition. No problem, Shakespeare. And what does he know about uh, good buddy Lewis? Say, big guy, you know Mr. Lewis Hayworth? But of course. Mr. Hayworth is an impeccable gentleman. And also a frequent visitor of the club. Oh. Is that so? Good to know. And? I'm afraid that is all, monsieur. Hmm. So, you're here often. Is Lucas really such a big fan? Lewis. And yes, he's got the whole Chicken Police book series. Damn his taste. <laughs> Is Lucas... Lewis. Oh, Look, Lewis. That bouncer over there. Well, yes. He is a bit intimidating, but his... Manners are impeccable. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. But it seems tonight we're not on his list. Oh! <clears throat> I see. Uh, um. Oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> You'd like to go in, but he won't let you. Yeah, something like that. No, 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 no problem at all. Come with me. I'll t -t 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 talk to him. Much obliged, pal. Yeah, thanks, Bunny. Excuse me. Uh oh. Ah, oh, jeez. What the hell's wrong with you, Marty? What? Did I say something wrong? Oh, maybe we can talk to him there. How'd you do? Everything's fine, Mr. Aworth. Good. <clears throat> uh, look, this noble pair of pigeons are my friends. They're on the <laughs> list, okay? Merci la mon, sir. And as for you, <clears throat> you owe me one, g g g gentlemen. Thanks, old pal. It was my p p pleasure to help you, as always. <laughs> This our club welcomes you, gentlemen. Thanks, buddy. I guess we can go in now. The jazz overwhelmed us. There was no band in sight, yet the music seeped from the walls like years of cigarette smoke and the smell of spilt whiskey. Behind the bar, rows of fancy bottles reflected the harmonious voices of pretty dames and the clinking of crystal glass. It was the kind of place that makes you drunk even if you've never had a sip. A dangerous place for someone like me. No matter how alien I felt, it was strangely like coming home. Welcome to the Tsar. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are indeed. Mother of... I take you to the nicest places, eh, sweetheart? <laughs> oh, does it mean you're buying, honey? Don't even think about it. 
<laughs> oh, men these days. So, we're here to find a dame called Natasha. I have a hunch she won't be hard to find. Let's mingle and try to avoid suspicion. Just like always. No, Marty, not like always. This time it's for real. Mm. Got a big buck and a uh, cheetah and a ferret here. So, where the hell is Natasha? Well, let's ask that stud over there with those nice gals. Mm, that guy looks way too horny for my taste. You mean antlery? Oh, man, your sense of humor is bad as ever. You just need to get used to it again. <laughs> what? If, uh... Ah, this is the life, huh? What's this guy do? Real estate? Mob accountant? Or is he a movie star? He looks like a coat hanger to me. <laughs> uh, that was actually worse than the previous joke. I try. Ah, this is the life. He looks. Uh, I try. A fox, a fox is a wolf who sends flowers. Oh. What? Oh, nothing. I read it somewhere. Fascinating. I didn't know you could read. <laughs> ha ha ha! Very funny. Remember that old case with the fox and the raven? How could I even forget? Absurd, right? All that bloodshed for a piece of cheese. Yeah, hunger can bring out the monster in animals, right? And the wildest and most primordial instincts, no matter how civilized they seem. As you say, Marty. That sounds like one really nasty Remember that case. other cat? Oh, it... Ah, yeah, you're right. Oh. We found the rabbit near. Remember that other case with the turtle and the rabbit fella? Oh, gosh, Marty, where do you dig these out? <laughs> uh, my mind is a bottomless pit, my friend. Was the rabbit a runner? And the turtle was what, his buddy, or...? Oh, a tortoise and the hare, okay. His dealer, actually. <laughs> ah, yeah, you're right. We found the rabbit near the river with a missing leg. Brutal stuff. Ooh. Two missing legs, actually, but yeah. Guess his luck ran out. What happened with the turtle in the end? It's a little bit blurry. Your bottomless pit of a mind is a dark and sad little place. The turtle thought he would run faster if he ate the legs of the rabbit. Ooh. You know what? This city's seriously fucked up. That is an understatement, Marty. It is, Marty. Remember that other case with the turtle and the rabbit fella? This done for hire. Rata Kate and Robert Fodder. And Larry Cougar Allen said. Or... Oh, I know this Fodder guy. He was kind of good in Death of the Horse. <laughs> You've seen every cluckin' movie. <laughs> you know, Laura and I go to the movies a lot. When was the last time you went? Exactly 12 years ago. Oh? Oh, you remember that precisely? Let me guess. Molly? Yep, our very first date. Oh, I see. What did you watch? I don't remember. I just remember her. Nothing else. You're a clucking poet. I mean it. What weird titles these have. Yeah. Ooh, I've seen this. Hicks Poodle plays a private eye, hired to look for a woman, then gets into some kind of blackmail thing that's connected to the first case, and... Hey, uh, Marty? What, yeah? I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's a classic, and kind of reminds me of the situation we're in right now. Oh. How so? I don't know. A mysterious case, a mysterious woman, strange threats, some off-duty investigation. So, like, think about it. What if, what if we're in a movie and this whole mess is just fiction? <laughs> Marty, I think you're having a nervous breakdown. 
It's a classic. And kind of reminds me of the situation we're in. That's a little metal meta. Oh. You think this is one of those movies where the femme fatale gets everything in the end and the poor detective's left stranded? Yep, just like life. <laughs> You're old, Sonny. I mean, experienced. Have you ever met a woman like that in real life? Who floors you with a glance and leaves only heartbreak? Well, actually... Oh, but I, I, I didn't mean to... Uh, I'm sorry, Sonny. Yeah, yeah. You're old, Sonny. I mean, experienced. Huh. Another lupus movie. Jeez. Is there nothing today they're not trying to sell with this guy? Whoa, don't be rude, Sonny. Lupus is a timeless genius. Have you seen Predator City? God, I'm still getting chicken bumps. <laughs> Wait. Who's that next to him? Cassandra Ruby Fay. Nah, never heard of her. Cassandra Ruby Fay. Oh, gods, even her name makes me go weak in the knees. Watch <laughs> your blood pressure, pal. Don't mind me, just women and guns are my only weakness. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. Ah, remember the name, Marty. Cassandra Ruby Fay. Marty, shut up. <laughs> I remember. Marty, shit. Yeah, we talked to a henchman here. Or at least look at him. This guy is certainly not a gangster henchman. <laughs> of course he's not. Hey, Marty, I bet you wouldn't dare to go up to him and ask if he hasn't seen your fur coat. What? Why? I'm mad, yeah, but not suicidal. Nah. <laughs> Are you chicken or what? Piss off, old bird. Nah, <laughs> chicken shit. Last we can do with that. I was hoping to have missed the main event. You're a rusty old cock, that's why. <laughs> so says the little butt jam. But what? That's not even a word. It is now. All because of you. You should feel honored. Butt jam. Uh, you know, Sonny, sometimes you're like an evil little child. <laughs> what is it, butt jam? <laughs> nothing, old fart. What is it, butt jam? <laughs> nothing. Sonny, I know it's not my place, but Laura's father went to that guy when his, you know, problems uh, had gone too far. You're treading on thin ice, Marty. No, I just... <laughs> Look, fellas at the station are talking, you know? All kinds of things. Moses, Plato, Bosco, and the others. Talking, eh? About what? About why Blood Boil took my badge? About what an untrustworthy alcoholic wreck I am? Probably. Look, uh, I'm sorry, it doesn't matter. Good. And let it stay that way. At least we're cracking this one together, yeah? Sure, Marty. So that unlocked uh, the drinking problem achievement. Come to daddy, darling. That's Colin uh, Boo's darling. It's kind of weird, don't you think? Says someone who calls his gun collection his harem. Touche. I'll shut it. Good birdie. <laughs> she has pretty lady. long legs. I mean, pretty and long legs for a squirrel, but I don't want to be prejudiced. We're not here to stare at pretty squirrels. We're here to investigate, remember? Can do all. Uh, that girl is looking at me. She's just looking at anyone whose glass is empty, Marty. That's all. Uh, no, 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 Sonny. She was staring at me like 
hard. Now, I saw it. Marty, <laughs> you're imagining things. Oh, wait a second. You see that, right? She's looking right at us with those big, black, weird squirrel eyes. Okay, Marty, don't panic. And just look elsewhere and walk away slowly. <laughs> Creepy little squirrel girl. Oh. Creepy little squirrel girl. Seems fine. Ah, uh, but that should be it. I think we uh, cleared everything inside the bar, aside from uh, these two fellas. But that'll be for next time. When we come back, folks, the Czar Club. Have a good one.